Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video, guys, to any of you having a key Optima, you have engine light on, and you have any of the following two codes. I'm talking about code P0014 or code P0015. Stay with us, we'll explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it, guys. Everything from start to finish will try to save you quite a bit of money. So let's start on it now. So that should actually work guys on Kia Optima generation 2010 to year 2016. Also, let me tell you quick about us guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools for your Kia Optima, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage, we make more than two to 300 free repair videos provided to you absolutely free guys. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video in addition if you have a Kia Optima guys okay this generation and you want to see uh, more information about electrical components engine diagnostics diagnosing airbag codes anything like that all that will be published on our second YouTube channel electrical car repair life check it out guys we have so much information that can save you practically thousands of dollars if you have a Kia Optima guys Specifically guys, 2013 Kia Optima that we have here guys. So, let's go ahead and remove the upper engine cover. We want to show you what causes most likely these codes guys and how to fix it. So, looking at your engine guys, this is a variable timing engine on both sides, intake and exhaust camshaft guys it means that it can change the angles of the of the valves so it can make the engine more efficient, more powerful guys and more responsive. So all these things guys okay everything's good until something fails so looking at the engine this is the intake manifold the exhaust manifold is on the back side under that valve cover guys you have a camshaft for the intake variable timing and exhaust camshaft for the exhaust variable timing so you will have a vvt variable timing solenoid that actually changes okay the timing on that car one for the intake one for the exhaust now we remove the one for the exhaust it will be located guys okay okay let me see where exactly it goes okay right there it will go right there so we have it removed we have a special video that explains how to remove and replace it guys but most of the times guys okay okay most of the times when you have any of these codes it's bad solenoid sticking solenoid dirty solenoid or guys okay if that's not a problem, okay, you always need to inspect the wiring harness that it's plugged in, make sure it's connected, make sure it's not melted by the exhaust, okay, and make sure it's not broken or eaten. Sometimes animals, like mice, rodents, in the winter time when it's cold, they will get under the hood and they will chew on the wires, guys. So, now, what I would do first if I was, okay, if I, I was uh, to have that problem, guys, pretty simple. I will remove that VVT solenoid. I will clean and test it. We have a special video that explains how to clean and test VVT solenoid on Kia Optima. By cleaning and testing it 90% of the time you will fix your problem. Something else that I will do, I will change the engine oil. Dirty engine oil can throw these codes. Because when the engine oil is too dirty, okay, that solenoid can start sticking. It may get uh, like carbon buildup inside. And that can actually guys cause okay, that solenoid to be slow acting now if that doesn't fix the problem and you even replace it with a new solenoid and it's still not fixing the problem i recommend guys do an engine forge with leaky moly that thing is simply amazing guys we actually guys have a special video that explains how powerful that stuff is we forged the engine on a hundred and ninety thousand miles uh, porsche cayenne engine engine look like new when we open it guys now if that doesn't fix the problem, most likely you have the variable timing gear, the sprocket for the uh, exhaust camshaft that will need to be replaced and we'll have a special video that will explain how to do that as well. So hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.